Before you get started with the Google Analytics um, sample data set in BigQuery, you'll full, first have to activate your account um, and set up a project to be able to use BigQuery. Um, this project can be just a dummy project, um, but you do need to go through these steps. So basically, you know, when you go to console.cloud.google.com, um, and if you don't have a Google Cloud account set up yet, you'll basically have to agree to the terms of service. Um, and then you can activate at any time, usually they have this offer live, where you get $300 of credit towards Google Cloud through a free trial. So if you activate that, you'll get $300 of credit. Um, and yeah, that's a, a nice way to get started. It means you probably won't pay for um, BigQuery for at least your, your first year or so. I think that's a 12 month trial. Um, but once, once you've got it going, um, your account activated, all you need to do is create a new project and you can call this test project. Organization can be none or it can be the, this is just the Google Apps domain that I'm working on and we'll create it. Um, so the first thing you need to do is create a project. Second thing that you need to do um, to use the sample data set is enable billing. Okay, so I went ahead and set up billing. Um, basically says welcome and you get $300 in free credit. So you, it turns out you get that 12 month $300 free trial just by default. Um, so now you're ready to go ahead and dive into the um, Google Analytics sample data set. So there's two ways to get into the actual BigQuery console. One is um, in the sidebar of the Google Cloud Platform dashboard, you can select BigQuery. You could also pin that if we go back. Let's pin it so that it'll show up at the top. Where are you? Okay, so let's pin it. It'll show up at the top now. Um, so that's this is their new UI. So it's console.cloud.google.com slash BigQuery. Um, this is their new UI. It has what's called standard SQL uh, implemented by default, which is nice. Um, BigQuery has unfortunately two two SQL versions. They have what's called standard SQL, which is you know kind of compatible with Postgres or MySQL. It's kind of classic SQL. Um, and then they have this version called legacy SQL that's a little bit different. Um, we just won't want to use that, um, but. So the new UI has that implemented by default in the classic UI, which I prefer. It's a little more clean and straightforward, which is at bigquery.cloud.google.com. Um, if you go to show options, and again, the, you know, the BigQuery UIs are not, they're great, but they're not the best design. There's a lot of buttons and a lot going on. So I always just like control F or Apple F, whatever, for, um, for text if I can't find it. So you always want to uncheck this use legacy SQL um, dialect box. You know, if you check it, it'll use legacy SQL. If you uncheck it, it'll use standard. Um, also, if you want to use standard SQL, you can always start your query with uh, hashtag standard SQL. Um, so for purposes of this tutorial, we'll be using uh, BigQuery as a bunch of public data sets, weather data, census data, stuff like that. Um, in the classic view, which I'll link to in the description of this video, uh, there is a Google Analytics sample data set, um, sample sessions data. This is what we'll be using for the project. Um, so if you go to the classic view, search Google, find the table and hit preview, you can look at the data. That's the nice thing about BigQuery is for no charge, you can browse through the data set. So, kind of toggle around previous next last they won't they don't charge you for this you can just view the data and look at the look at the schema um, so in the bigquery class new ui i don't know what what to call this but it's the new ui i guess they have public data sets in a little bit of a different way they have this public data set marketplace which you know it's a nice ui and it's it kind of matches the look and feel of a lot of their new stuff but it doesn't have the um Google Analytics data set in here that I've been able to find. Um, so instead of using the new UI, we're gonna use the classic UI here because it's better to work with the, uh, the Google Analytics data set. So hopefully that's enough for you to get started. Um, you know, if we, we can run a 
run a basic test query just saying, you know, select select star from this table and we'll see, you know, we're up and running. Okay, so we got the first thousand results. We ran a basic query. Um, we're up and running. So we have our BigQuery account enabled. We have our billing enabled. We created a project and now we're able to use BigQuery.